I had to check if my mom was crying or my dad was crying. No, it was basically just uh, who would get in and out first, basically. Uh, oh, I want an in and out. Alex. No, I don't forget we're streaming. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I know. But uh. Oh shit. Oh, shit. Oh! Uh... So... I want to talk about a certain thing. What's that certain thing? Uh, did you guys know that Valentine's Day was originally, or actually... A marketing uh, campaign. No, actually. Um... It's a, um, originally a execution day. Yep. Hold on, what? Yeah. Yep, okay, so here's the general basis of it. Fucking so, there's a dude named St. Valentine's, oh, right? Whole yep, we're gonna describe this shit. <laughs> well, doesn't everybody, like, learn this in, like, middle school or something? Apparently, Golden doesn't know, so, uh... I was taught that in middle school. I was taught that in middle school, and as soon as I was, like, talking about it to somebody, he said, No, it was just made to advertise. You didn't know that? I mean, that's what it's based on, too, off of, but, it like, was based yeah, on nowadays, it. nowadays is, it's more of a marketing thing and advertising. It's a marketing thing now, but back then, it was because, um, one bitch decided, Oh, oh I don't know this concept of love. Not what is, what is this love thing? Why don't why 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 are people getting married knowing damn well that his parents probably did the same thing? It's just that he doesn't know that. Jesus. Either that or his parents didn't give him the talk. So he started to make this like I think it was like a law that every single person should be like like every person who married or Engaged or discriminated. Uh, yeah. No, he basically banned marriage. Yeah. He banned marriages overall, and then St. Valentine's was kind of pissed. No, it wasn't so he just, kinda... no, he did weddings in secret. Yeah, he did weddings in secret, yeah. I was about to say that, but sure. Like, he did weddings of se in secret out of probably spite for that dude. And he ended up being beheaded. Yeah, like... Valentine's Day is a pretty metal origin story. Yeah. I love how Easter is, like, a sexual fertility holiday in paganism. And in Christianity, they didn't even change the symbolism or the fact that it's still called Easter. Which is the name of the goddess the pagan holiday was celebrating. Yep. Uh, what was it that Christmas was based? It was Yule, but it was yeah. something else too. Uh, was uh, what was it? the the sun Ow. god? Uh, was it? Oh, was sun it? god Mithras. Mithras, yeah. Because uh, Mithras and Horus were both born on December twenty fifth. Yep, and like was people it? have studied like the constellations of the time that Jesus would have been born, and he was probably born in around March, I believe they said. Mm -hmm. And not. Like, wasn't it the re the reason why we got the, uh... There's a theory on... for every month, probably. Well, it was part of it was to get pe Was Constantine... Constantine, I believe, wasn't it? Yeah. Constantine trying to adapt the Christianity into the Roman... Basically because he wanted more Christians on his side because he realized they were a good voting class and shit. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so he started adapting stuff from the pagan stuff into the Christian stuff and... Ow. Yeah. You crossed the Christians with pagans, and now you got yeah. some cool holidays. You got, uh, yeah. you got Reese's peanut butter cup. <laughs> you got your paganism in my Christian. <laughs> you ever, you ever have a feeling that you feel tricked by some of what people say, only to find out you were wrong? What? Oh, like you totally, like you totally don't believe someone, but then you look up and you find out, oh shit, they're actually correct. No, the opposite. Oh. Uh. Yeah. 
Like, is it basically, um, where someone tells you a certain thing, and then when you find out, it's actually this? Yeah. Roughly. Yeah, no, that's yeah. how I feel when I was told about Valentine's Day again. I'm just... God damn it. I can't trust yeah, like, any, I can't trust anybody on what they tell me. Or whatever it like is you that I'm can. talking. can. Here's the thing. Nowadays, Valentine's Day is a marketing scheme. Or at the very least, Hallmark's favorite, like, dick writer. But back <laughs> then, it was basically an execution thing. <laughs> I need a minute here. Hallmark's favorite dick lighter. Dick writer. That's that's what I said. <laughs> it's you, it sounded like you said dick lighter. <laughs> Probably Discord pissing on it again. Kill. Regardless, it, that that's that's quite the jab at um. That's well, quite any the jab kind at of like. <laughs> no. <coughs> well, actually, you know what? Like capitalism ho holiday, or like. There are, like, so many times where you would see, I think, around December, I'm not kidding, I would go to a Target, and then I would see Valentine's Day items. Back up. There. Like, like it's not even... Ow. What's kind of interesting, though, is that if, in the West, if you deconstruct the year by the months, the days of the week, and the holidays, it actually tells a full story complete with the lore. Ah. Oh, I'm still alive. For instance, there are two knights that have an eter that have an eternal duel from the north. One of them is the green. Ah, damn it. I think it's like Sir Gawain and the Green Knight. Um, um, or I think other descriptions is like the Green Knight versus the Black Knight. And during this, and it's like Gawain wins during there. the time the time of the year when the sun is dominant. So on the solstice, where the sun is in the sky more. Um, but uh, then on the opposite up. solstice, uh, the green knight is victorious, and the moon is more dominant. And they repeat this duel twice a year, every year. And it's part of the lore. Another example is that the other day, apparently there was a release of a, cap a like Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle Games collection. Mm. And I saw a trailer that was a part of what was apparently, uh, what was it, the... It was based off of Sony, and it's like it was stated that oh, it's only for Sony games. When I found out, oh, it's also for Steam and everything. So it's like, oh, okay, how nice of you to lie to me, Sony. Oof. I think Oof. it's mostly on Wii, <coughs> but I can see it how um, I can see how you would be able to be lied to. Yeah, lied to and be made as a jackass. Goes like, well, too bad it's not on Steam. Uh, it is on Steam. It's right there at the end of the trailer. What? Sony, you fucking <laughs> lied to me! You fucking piece of shit! Is a lie. For that, I'm not supporting you! Dude, you did like audio mouth reverse. What the. Uh... What? Uh, what? What? Uh, I don't... What? What the huh? fuck is mouth audio reverse? No, dude, it sounded like you like made a reverse noise with your mouth. I was making the vinyl record scratch! <laughs> that sound. You know, when you. In this... Never mind. Yeah. Never no, it's mind. A joke. Yeah. <laughs> Don't worry, we're being silly, Goldie. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Long yeah to I, I took that very. Per I took the whole Sony thing personal because it's just like, Sony, why do you got to do that? I mean, mm. Sony's been pretty. Uh, eh. Speaking of Sony, Sony though, wasn't there like rumors recently about them being able to buy a property off of Konami or something? Don't know. Don't care. That's Sony's problem. Border. He. Hey, Solaire. Hey, Solaire. Solaire. Ah, shit. Dark Souls character. You, uh, you mistake me. You are fading out through every word. I can't hear it. Maybe you should get your ears checked then. Or maybe you should check your settings. Maybe you should uh, check yourself before you uh, uh, riggedy riggedy wreck yourself. This is giving me PUBG flashbacks. Hi. PUBG flashbacks? Yeah, we would play PUBG back in like 2017 together, and like every time I couldn't hear Solar because of something like that, he would be like, I'm gonna fucking kill you. Like, I'm gonna fucking kind of kill shit. you. That, it's like every word is fading out. Yeah. Wait, what I'm saying or what he's saying? What, what he was originally. What he was saying. 
what you're thinking. It's not what I'm thinking, dude. <laughs> it's what you think you're thinking. Dude, it's fucking recorded on the stream. Uh -huh. It's what you think that you think you're thinking. <laughs> yes. Ah, Jesus! Ow. Oh, wow, God, everything a hurts. Lot of bullets. Everybody cries. <clears throat> ah, also, there Jesus! Was apparently, there's apparently P there was apparently a bunch of PF. PS5s available as like game stops today, but there was none near me, so Ow. there's only at select game stops. <laughs> You're only at select game stops. Ah, uh, no, only <laughs> stops because that's what you said, Riley. Stops. Sorry, I'm 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 tired and hot. Only stops. It's been a long day. Game stops. <laughs> game stops. <laughs> Uh, remember game stocks. Back up. There we go. Oh, this isn't the right game. Oh, ah, Jesus. And then they bought like, what was it, like 1.5 seconds of airspace at the Super Bowl? Who oh, did? Reddit did. Really? I don't remember that. No, dude, look it up. Like right now, look it up. There. Okay. Reddit. Type a Reddit um, game stock Super Bowl. Didn't see that coming. Nope. Oh, coming. Fuck. Come. He's yeah, wasn't coming. it literally like a flash text screen that was like, yeah, yeah this advertisement like, costs like ow. five million to some. It was like five hundred thousand dollars for like one. It was like a ridiculously. It was a ridiculously like low amount. It was like they only bought like three seconds of airspace or something, or maybe even less. <laughs> 